Hey everyone, Witzer here. I'm gonna show you some highlights of my fortress field. It was pretty easy. So I'm gonna show you some battles, not all of them. So here we are fighting 8500 points, which is a little bit too easy for us, but which is nice. Same here. My team does pretty fine, so insta kill. Just gonna switch to all battles. Here he has a few single evolved heroes, which is not, is not a big challenge for us. Here he has, yeah, this is a little bit better, but still. Once Trixie procs, she's amazing. A little bit overkill, you can say. But we could live with it. We got 12 chests, so I'm gonna open the 12 chests at the end of the video. As you can see, this was harder, he had double evolved heroes. Still, we killed him. Without losing a single hero, which is really nice. That's so important in Fortress Feuds, not really losing heroes. Because if people stack up against you, you're so dead. Looks like a clear rim. Here we have a little bit a little bit harder fight. But my team is so strong. There we go. Eleven hundred points. Like I love killing these teams because otherwise they take over points. And once you can kill them they their basically their best team is down. Which is awesome. Could fight those teams all day. You can see we, j we killed like four teams in maybe a minute, which is really nice. Eleven thousand points. As you can see, once Trixie procs, she just wipes teams. I wish I do have a revite Trixie backup, but still need to evolve her and double evolve her, which is gonna which is gonna take so much shards. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. So here we have a little bit a better team again. His Vlad procked on me. Might actually have lost the hero in this fight. So here we have Aerie Skull Knight Siren, which is really weird for this team. Also killed it, <laughs> and this is <laughs> pretty funny. Four thousand points. Just Redrick needs to proc, and they die. As you can see, once Tredrick procs against even against single evolved heroes, he's doing so much damage. My my Tredrick has eight of eight war guards, so it does make some sense. And he's ten of ten skills. Here a Gulen and a Siren evolved. And what do we have here? Just this evolved Skull Knight, this evolved Tredrick, and. Pumpkin look. This is one of the stronger teams we were fighting. So once you're fighting again, if this is the strongest team, it says a lot about this fortress feud. But 12 chests always help. As you can see, we racked it. <laughs> we got over double of the points of the second, which is really nice. So we won it easily. So these are the points we won. Far away from the. Okay, so it's time to open the chests. Let's hope we get something good from this. I'm just gonna open them one by one so it's more fun for me. Hope you don't mind. So, two heavy monsters, which is not great. This is not bad. 30,000 XP. Down tree fresh. Can always use those. Ooh, a legendary card. That's nice. Merits. Not the best. Again, here be monster passes. Dungeon card, which is pretty bad. Another one. Another one. I don't mind it actually. It's 300 gems. 
So that's okay ish. And the last one will be. Ooh, that's the worst one. Okay, so this was my drop. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm also gonna make a video opening my legendary cards and my other legendary hero cards since we have two of them. So, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and.